My name is Lillian Cass. I'm a special education teacher at Austin Polytechnical Academy on the west side. I've been teaching for nine years and I've been teaching at Austin Polytech for five. Um, I'm here tonight for a lot of reasons. Um, where do I start? School closings have, I've just seen the, the effect that school closings have had. I used to teach at Calumet on the south side, which was closed and is now a charter school. Um, I'm currently teaching at Austin which was turned around about six years ago and it's likely to be turned around again. And I just see the lack of stability, um, how that affects our students. And school is often, for, for my students, it's the one stable place in their neighborhood. It's the one place they go every day that they can rely on who's going to be there and what's going to happen. And they can rely on a certain level of structure and safety. And when you close a school or turn it around or make it a charter school or whatever you want to call it, those kids lose that structure, they lose that stability, they lose the teachers and the social workers and the nurses who, and the counselors who are there for them every day and all of a sudden they're going to a building every day where they don't know anybody and those teachers don't know them, don't know their families, and don't know their communities and it just creates uh, uh, a chaotic environment that isn't good for the kids and is not uh, conducive to learning. My school currently doesn't have a counselor, doesn't have an art teacher, doesn't have a music teacher, doesn't have an assistant principal, doesn't have a librarian. Um, they've been starving us out. Five years ago when I first came to Austin Polytech, we were a rising school. Our kids, you know, we had 95% attendance, both for students and for teachers. Now our student attendance rate is maybe 73%, and it's because a lot of these services and additional activities have been cut. They've been starving us out for the last couple of years expecting to be on the list, but whether or not we are on the list, it doesn't matter whether my school is closing or not. I believe that school closings across the city and across the country need to stop because there's no research that shows that those that turning around a school or closing a school does anything positive for those students or for that community.